Going back to the 100 meter finals, I'm not sure if you would have answered this. Do you think that, what were your thoughts on them holding the men for so long at the start of the 100 meter finals? I think that they did, do, did what they had to do, but as I told Kishin, I said, Kishin, they did what they had to do. You should have done what you should have done, but just to leave the line. You should have left the line, go out there, Tell them that when they're ready, they can call it back. Mm. Or whatever. You should not allow them to stand. You have to stand there for seven minutes. Yeah, it was very long. Yeah. Right. Um, but I wouldn't really call it a bigger factor. I mean, it probably affected him a little bit more because he's not used to it. Right. Because these kind of pauses occur on the circuit sometimes, not that not as long, and they tend to occur at the big big championships. Some, but I have never seen as long as that. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he knew how to handle that kind of stuff as well. But I think his problem occurred when he came back after the semi-finals with a hamstring problem. Oh. Right? And I think that from our perspective, we had to spend the entire time trying to get him ready to run or to get him here even to participate. Because based on what he said he was feeling, it was uncertain. So Sean Terry Manboard had to be using all kinds of techniques and so on to get him to not only to be okay but to believe he was okay. And in the warm up before they they they, they, they went to the call room, we couldn't I mean I had intended to do to emphasize a bit on the starting plan, I knew that that was crucial. But you couldn't do it because you didn't want to encourage him to push out from the blocks when and get himself hurt. What's good peeps? It is Jam Feed. Now, a sore armstring between the semi-final and final of the men's 100 meter at the 2024 Paris Olympic Games might have affected Jamaica's Kishin Thompson more than we knew. Now, according to coach Stephen Francis, this was because of the unusual lengthy weight for the starting of the men's 100 meter final. Now, in no way, shape or form, I'm making excuses for Kishin, but I'm pretty sure a lot of us did not knew he actually had an injury after the semi-final, seeing as that he ran extremely well in the final. You know, so I'm not making any excuses, but if that was the case, probably it did held him back a little and did affect him. But as I said, he, he, he went out and he did his thing. You know, it was a close race. As we all know, it was a photo finish and it was a close race. Now, as Stephen Francis pointed out, Kishane is new to all of this. And also, these injuries seem to come up in these major championships. And due to the fact that Kishane is new to this, he could have been vulnerable to it. But listen, a lot of time is ahead of Kishane. Kishane is very young, you know, and he has a lot of time to overcome it. He just needs the experience. And trust me, I know for a fact that Kishane is going to dominate the field. I don't know about you, but I know for a fact, mark my words, Kishane is going to dominate the field. But I would love to know y'all thoughts down in the comment section, y'all perspective on all of this. Y'all believe that he had an injury and it hold him back. Let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section. Feel free to share. But remember to hit that like button and also remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching. It is your boy Jam Feed and I'm out.